try and focus, if we could, on questions for oral answer. Question number nine, Sue Kedgley. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. A question for the Minister of Local Government. Does he stand by his statement concerning the Royal Commission's report on Auckland governance that, and I quote, I have some concerns about whether the report provides for adequate local representation in our many diverse communities, and I want to look more closely at the issue. If so, why? The Honourable John Carter. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Local Government, Rodney Hyde, I reply, yes, because there are many diverse communities. This is why I am in Auckland today meeting with Mike Lee, Chair of the Auckland Regional Council, Alastair Heath thompson Chief Executive of the EMA, and Mike Cohen, Chair of the New Zealand Community Boards and Chairperson of the Devonport Community Board. Sue Kedgley. Does he agree that many of the Commission's proposals actually undermine rather than strengthen local democracy in Auckland, such as their proposal to wipe out most community boards, strip local councils of their powers and relegate them to the status of local branch offices, and to concentrate extraordinary power in the office of the Mayor? The Hon. Uh, John Carter. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Local Government, Rodney Hyde, I reply, Mr Speaker, I do agree that the report of the Royal Commission is a large and significant document. The Government is still considering the details of the report, and no decisions have yet been made. The Government intends to make a response in due course. A supplementary, the Hon. Honourable, the Honourable Shane Jones. Uh, to the Minister, in the new Auckland-wide unitary authority, how many voters exist in that area and how many of them and, and how will the ten region wide new councillors be accountable to that volume of voters? The Honourable John Carter. Mr Speaker, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there is about a million voters, but I can be corrected on that figure. But in response to the second part of the question, I say to the member, the report of the Royal Commission is a large and significant document. The Government is still considering the detail of the report and no decisions have been made. The Government intends to respond in due course. Sue Kedgley. Does he agree with commentator Gordon Campbell that, and I quote, in an era where big government is supposed to be such a bad word, this proposal will entail a centralisation of power unimagined by any left-wing activist with Stalinist tendencies? Unquote. And will he seek to ensure that there are checks on the extraordinary concentration of power in the office of the Mayor? The Honourable Mr. John Speaker, Carter. Mr Speaker, I've seen a number of comments by a number of commentators who have different views, but I would say to the member that the report of the Royal Commission is a large and significant document, and the Government is still considering the detail of the report, and no decisions have been made. The Government intends to make a response in due course. The Dr. Russell Norman. There was no attempt to address the question. Oh, was it point that of order? I point of order. There was no attempt to address the question in that answer. But the, the difficult. No, I don't think I need to help on this. The difficulty was the, the question really asked for an opinion, and, and, and the opinion the minister gave may not have been quite the opinion being sought. But if one seeks an opinion in a question, one will get an opinion, and and uh, and that's the dilemma with that kind of question. Uh, Keith Locke, supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. When the Minister says the Government will be deciding in due course, uh, does that mean, as, as has been reported, that there will be a decision at this coming Monday's Cabinet Minister on whether or not the, the Government goes along with the general lines of the Royal Commission's report? And uh, what time will the good citizens of Auckland be given to comment on such far-reaching proposals uh, for, of the Royal Commission? The Honourable Speaker, John Carter. The um, Government do intend to respond to the Commission's report in due course, but no date has been announced at this time. The Honourable Shane Jones. To the Minister, why will he not confirm to the House the promise he made to Aucklanders during the election campaign that they would be extensively consulted over the future of the mega city for Auckland? The Honourable John Carter. Uh, Mr Speaker. 
Mr Speaker, the whole process of the Royal Commission was about consultation. There has been extensive consultation for more than 20 months. We have now received the report of the Commission, which is a significant document with many details, and the Government will give a considered response in due course. Sue Bradford. Does the Minister share the concern of the Green Party and of many other people in Auckland that having the Mayor and ten councillors elected at large undermines fair community input into the Council from all parts of the region and will inevitably result in elections which only the rich and famous will have any chance at all of winning? The Hon. John Carter. Mr Speaker, uh, one thing that, uh, on behalf of the Minister of Local Government, I reply, uh, one thing that does not occupy a lot of the time of the Minister is the concerns of the Greens. But, Mr Speaker, I say to the Minister that the report of the Royal Commission is a large document, and the uh, Government are considering the details and will respond in due course.